Ooh, hello, Leo. It's my favorite time of the night. Our favorite time of the day, and it's Leo's time. Welcome to your love and romance reading. You guys already know the deal, Leo. Remember to like the reading, comment down below, subscribe to the channel. You guys, these readings are general. So if you want a reading that's private, personal reading, which is what I offer, you can order that via the link in the description bar down below. Um, and feel free to just place your order request and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All right. And yes, so these readings, sometimes they go extended late right now. They might not. So just look out for those links. They're right at the top of the description bar down below as well. Okay. So with all that being said, we're going to get started. Yes, sometimes I drink wine. Sometimes. 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 All right, I'm here in Taurus. Some of you guys are dealing with the Taurus, or you have Taurus in your chart. <clears throat> Oof. This person, their confidence has skyrocketed. This person has healed so much in so many ways that they can feel their love for you and they know that it's amazingly strong, accurate, like they trust it, but they're also so okay with it. Like th this is someone who is ready to go to war for you. Like this person is ready, like will go to bat, you know? But it's not even about that. For them, it's like the passion and it's the love, you know? I'm hearing the deliverance, so I feel like this connection, you really delivered this person from a lot of pain or from some pain in their life, brought them a lot of happiness. They just, they're pat they can't, like the passion, the love, the chemistry, <clears throat> the, se the sex, the desire, all of that. That is so strong in this person right now. They want you so badly. They just want to be near you. They want to sleep with you. Like they would just want to be near you, okay? And they find this relationship, they find your love so healing, okay? They want to heal you as well. Like this person wants to be near you and heal you so if you're going through something right now, they want to be there for you. <clears throat> this person, they're gonna get, they're gonna, get ready to reach out to you soon. They were meaning to reach out to you already, but they just like got caught up. But they're gonna reach out to you about something, send you a message, possibly let you know about this. Um, but ultimately this message is to help you see things from another perspective. Okay, so this person, they have a knack of holding back. They have a tendency to keep their stuff, their feelings to themselves. They just, They just keep things close to their chest. That's just how they are. Yes. This person keeps things close to their chest. You're just like, if you're just like you, just like you. Okay. And it, you know, it's, it's because this person is afraid of things not working out. Like them saying the wrong thing, doing the wrong thing, being in the wrong situation. Like they just don't want like a horrible mishap to happen. You know, they love this, like this opportunity they have, this potential they have with you. They love it. And they're fine with it just staying this way. I mean, they're not fine with it. They want it to grow. They do. They want it to grow. But they just like, if, you know, they're, they're going to, they want to hold on. They're willing to hold on to you no matter what. So if it, you know, however, which way, you know, you guys need to go to, to make this relationship what it deserves to be, they're willing to do it. So, you know, if there's things that are hidden on both sides, they're like, <clears throat> <clears throat> in some way shape or form you guys had to hide this relationship or something like that they were fine with that like because they really felt defeated but they also saw the potential in this relationship and they just trusted that all this would work out just well and it, and it did and i'm hearing it is okay so there's a lot of this secret energy you guys may have been the ones like kind of putting up with something and trusting and that's gonna pay off if that's not already 
So in the recent past, they were worrying a lot. <laughs> Okay, that's what they were. That's what's that's what they were. So they were creating. They were creating from their worries. All the stuff that was going on, they were putting out. You know, that was from their worries. They weren't even really in their body. Like they were just in fear mode. And then now they kind of just like settled down. They came into their comfort zone. They realized there was nothing to really worry about. Not really. You know, they realized that they were okay. You know, and then they also. I, I'm also feeling like. I'm hearing they got to a place where they ended up being okay. You know, they re they 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 realized the burden that they were carrying, and so they put it down. You know, this was like this has really nothing to do with you, but this was overburdening the connection. I feel like you know you you involved yourself in this because you wanted to protect this person, you wanted to protect this relationship, and that's fine. And I feel like you don't have a problem with it. You're like, yup. <clears throat> I feel like you're like, mm -hmm. like what they. And they don't have a problem with it. It's fine. But, you know, we're just saying, you know, there's a lot going on here. Because y'all kind of want to, you know, and I'm like, I'm not saying that, you know, that's not what's happening. I'm just saying what I'm seeing. So we're just going to move forward. Um, <clears throat> but that was the, they were just bringing a lot of worries. All they wanted to do was worry about this relationship in the past. And now they've just over, they've just overcome that. They just... They're just choosing love. That's it. It's hard, but they're going to do it. And they're healing. That's what was blocking them from reaching out and communicating, straining their throat as well. So um, now they're wanting to partner up with you and be more of a partner, work together, walk away from habits that keep them in the background. This person like has wallflower vibes and like... <laughs> Oh my god. <coughs> Wait. <laughs> they have wallflower vibes. <laughs> you guys are having the hardest time. That is so funny. <coughs> This person, they're always so worried about stuff. It's like, oh my God, <coughs> relax. Like, <coughs> they're really stuck in like. <coughs> no, they're really stuck in like such a limiting paradigm. It's like, yo, V, like free yourself. Like it's, it's lit. I feel like this connection is so lit. There's so many amazing things you guys have together that's like so many people would be so envious, you know, or they already are, you know, and this, this a lot of people are envious of this person because of this relationship or, you know, I'm hearing you're envious of this person. <laughs> you know, they are, you know, there's just all this energy, but it's like, there's it's just because there's so, I'm hearing coveted coveted i'm not you know not hearing okay but coveted there's so many things that are coveted about this person about this relationship and they're realizing they need to step up that they're the ones shutting themselves out they need to step up and <clears throat> get in that big girl big boy energy you know all right so right now they're thinking about reaching out to you they're getting ready they're gonna be shh they're gonna reach out to you don't make me extend it don't make me King of Cups it. Okay, because I will call Drake the King of Cups, bitch. All right. Boom. So here we go. They're about to reach out. They feel really positive about this, but they're going to send you some positive information. They're going to send you some good ass news. They've been sitting on this. They've been thinking about reaching out to tell you this. They're just not quite sure. This person is very indecisive, extremely. And that's something that they've needed so much healing on. I mean, oh my God. I don't think that they can decide on to drink water or juice. They, they can't decide on those little things. So imagine the big things in life. I mean, come on, it slows their life down. They get so confused. And that's what was confusing them in this relationship. But they're going to reach out, they're going to say, and I know that annoys you. I feel like that annoys you, Leo. They cannot help that. I'm hearing that's their upbringing. They cannot help that. That's just how they are. 
but they're going to reach out. They're going to tell you what you want to hear. Okay, so. Ooh, what is this person? Ooh, in their future. Ooh, they're going to send you. There's going to be some lovely energy between the two of you guys. You are going to be getting some lovely communication from them. This person is going to be giving you some wonderful news. There's an amazing new beginning in romance between the two of you guys in this relationship. They're, this person, they're going to be talking about um, where this is going. And I feel like there's just a lighthearted energy. There's a new beginning. There's a new beginning. You guys are working together more. They want to work with you and just be more there. I just feel like this person, like, wanting to be there and, like, put in more effort. Um, consistent effort. I feel like this, they're, they're a good person to be with. Definitely, they're a good person to be with. And I don't know if this person ever felt like they were bad for you. I think this person, they were kind of stuck in that belief system where they felt like they were bad for you. But as they freed themselves from that, they actually started showing their true colors and their true tendencies. And their true tendencies and colors are so pure and so sweet and adorable and cute. It's like, how can you ever like dislike this person? Or how can you ever like want to step away from this person? And I'm not sure who realizes this first, you or them. This person, they realize, they realize that about you too. <clears throat> they realize how pure your heart is. They were resisting doing whatever this was before. This is a big thing for them because they felt like you didn't want them to ask. They didn't, you felt like you didn't want them to ask you about this. That's what they felt like. They felt like you didn't want them to ask you about this because they felt like you didn't want them there. That's what I'm hearing. That's what. That's why they kind of are like that way. But they, instead of just saying it, you know, but there's a new beginning in love now because of what's said, because of what this person is thinking about coming forward and doing. Yes, yes, yes. It is very positive. We're ending off this really reading in le true Leo fashion. Okay, we'll be back soon though. So we keep these readings the way that they are because that's how these messages come in. So there's a wonderful new beginning here. Um, a really um, amazing emotional offer headed your way from them. And um, just like spiritual prosperity as well, okay? Very, very lighthearted times. You are going to get that. Yes, you're going to get that message that you were hoping for. All right. Bless you. I'm here in Capricorn. So I'm coming to Capricorn. Don't worry about it. If you're dealing with the Capricorn or you're a Capricorn, I'm coming. I'm going down the road. I put up some stuff already for Capricorn. Yeah, I could just go watch the other Capricorn readings. If you really are needing to push for it, go to those. I'm not extending it. I'm not extending it. Go forth. All right, we'll talk next time. Bye-bye.